You realize the spiritual world, the condition of this spiritual world today, the dark. It's midnight. You see, you'll learn things in the darkness you'll never learn anywhere else. You don't grow on the mountain, you grow in the valley. These are the kind of things that give meaning to life, doesn't it? When everything is true, there is no truth. You understand that principle? You've got to be able to see through it and see past it and see a reason, a purpose, something higher than what you're living in. I stand alone on the Word of God. You've got to go through these times. But what I want to talk to you about this morning is the reason God put you here. Here's the reason. The Bible said God breathed into Adam's nostrils the breath of life and he became a living soul. That meant that something, something came up from inside God. It came up from him. Therefore, God put something in the man that he did not put in anything else on this earth. I stand alone on the word of God. Not everybody who rides on a white horse is a good guy. I don't think so. The Antichrist seeks to destroy God's people in an effort to clear the way for setting himself up as, as God. A one world government, a one world economic system, a one world religion, and you and I in our lifetime are going to see a world currency and a global government. That you're a member of that body of Christ, of born again believers that loves the Lord Jesus Christ, that judges everything, everybody, any movement, you judge it all by the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. How do you judge it, preacher? If it does not exalt, if it does not lift up the Lord Jesus Christ, it's part of that other 666. One world authoritarian system that won't look too bad initially, but then after three and a half years, the Antichrist will reveal himself as the devil. The Antichrist must create a need for his appearance. And he's doing that by means of his human agents, by crashing the global economy, making everyone desperate. Can't take no more! Can't take no more! He will set the stage with economic collapse, with food shortages, with war and rumors of war, with every kind of disorder and chaos imaginable. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ and the image of God should shine to them. Who blinds them? The God of this world. What's he do? He blinds them to what? The gospel. Where the heart becomes harder, the conscience more calloused, and the sensitivity to the things of God numbed. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this day thy great a people? I watched as the Lamb opened the first of the seven seals. I looked, and there before me was a white horse, its rider held a bow, and he was given a crown, and he rode out as a conqueror, bet on conquest. The rider on the white horse represents the Antichrist, the world charismatic political leader. Scripture says he'll be the absolute deceiver, the father of all lies, and he will deceive the entire world into thinking otherwise. The book of Revelation conveys exactly what's going to happen to the world in stages in the end times. We live in a world that is changing profoundly and fast and that is facing threats that seem apocalyptic to us, global warming, overpopulation. We have seen devastating hurricanes. We have seen devastating tornadoes. We've encountered earthquakes very high on the Richter scale. If you look at how fast they are happening and how much closer together they are coming, as we get closer to the end of days, they almost will come right on top of each other. Little children, it is the last time and as ye have heard that an antichrist shall come, even now are there many antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. And now they're facing a real God, not the gods of the Egyptians, a bunch of demons created in the image of man. Man creates them in his own image and his nightmares and, and his demon possession. But now they're about to come face to face with a real God. Amen. The God that judged all their gods. Who is a liar? but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ. He is an antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Unless the light of the glorious gospel of Christ should shine. Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. 
If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he hath promised us, even eternal life. So that makes the gospel of Christ very, very, very important. I stand alone on the word of God. When he comes back, according to Revelation 11, he'll come back and take that which rightfully belongs to him that Satan offered to him in Luke 4. He'll come back and take the kingdoms of this world. He said, upon this rock I will build my church. It belongs to him. He bought and paid for it. The whole creation groaneth and travaileth right now, Romans 8, waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. And they're coming. Hallelujah, they're coming. I was in a dark pit. Okay, I was in a dark pit when God found me. No human being could have found me in that dark pit because they couldn't see me. But the Holy Ghost knew exactly where to go to. Take me by the hand and bring me right out of it. <laughs> Glory to God tonight. I stand alone on the word of God.